Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my September wrap up. September wrap up, September wrap up, wrapping up all the books. Let's just ignore that My Little Pony reference. September was a month where I didn't really read as much as I would have liked to, but I still think I read a decent amount. The first book I read was The Queen of the Tealing, which I don't have here to show you because I borrowed it from the library and I've already returned it, but I rated that one a 4 out of 5 stars. I've done a review of it and I also talked about it in my library book haul. My review will be coming out shortly, so I'm not really going to get into too much detail about it, but I did really enjoy it. And then I read When I Was Me by Hilary Freeman, which I also rated a 4 out of 5 stars. You'll see a trend in this video where a lot of the books I rated a four. It was a pretty four out of five star month for me apparently. This book is about a girl named Ella who wakes up one day and finds that everything is just slightly different. Her bedroom, herself, her mum, her mum's hair, everything is not normal. It's not the same and she's not the same either. Her life seems to have changed and Ella has to figure out what is going on. I really enjoyed this one and I do have a review of it which I do talk about more of it and again that'll be coming out shortly. And then I read Trouble as a Friend of Mine, at least I'm pretty sure I did this month. I'm not sure if I did read it last month but I'm pretty sure I read it this month. This book is about a girl named Zoe who befriends a boy named Digby and they get into all these sorts of adventures together. I feel like I've talked about this book a lot so I'm not really going to get into too much detail about it. I also do have a review of this one coming out shortly but I rated this one between a three and a half and a four stars. Also if you hear noise in the background it's this little puppy. This is Kishi and he if you do remember a couple of months ago he was really sick and I was worried and I think I cried in one video about him but he's a lot better now. He is a special needs puppy now because he can't really walk as well as he used to and he falls a lot but he's okay isn't he Kishi? But he's making lots of noise at the minute, aren't you, Kishi? Then I read What We Saw by Aaron Hatzler. This was a darker read for me. It was based about this town where a girl had been raped. There was a party and something happened and no one was really sure what happened. However, video footage emerges and these four boys at this school are charged with rape. However, the whole time the town kind of feels sorry for these four boys as they feel like their lives have been ruined. And this girl who was raped is being treated horribly. It's a really horrible story, especially because it's based on a true story, but I did find it really interesting and I think it's a really important read. I rated this one a 4 out of 5 stars. And then I have two books that I can't show you. There's Avatar The Search Part 1 and Part 2. I borrowed these from a friend and I really enjoyed them. Just, you know, Avatar comics basically and it's pretty cool. It's set after the anime, so if you like Avatar, you know, they're pretty okay. I really rated each of the volumes a three out of five stars. All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher was rated between a three and a half out of four stars. It's an advice book by a YouTuber here on YouTube, obviously. I wasn't expecting much from it because I don't really like advice books. However, I did really enjoy this one and I actually learnt some stuff for it, which I didn't think would happen. I'm not big on advice books, personally, not really my thing, but this was actually quite good. I recommend it if you're into this sort of thing. After that, I wanted a completely different tone of books, so I picked up The Complete Mouse by Art Speed. Eagleman. This is a graphic novel as you can see and it follows the story of a boy telling his dad's story. His father was a Jew and it's when the whole time that the Holocaust was happening and him trying to survive it and his tale of what happened to him and his friends and family. It was really heartbreaking and I really enjoyed it. Again it was sad but I think it, again it was a really important read. I have done a review of it so you should check out that. I do go into a lot more detail about what it's about and what I thought of it but overall I really enjoyed it and I rated it a 4 out of 5 stars. Then I wanted another graphic novel and I only had one other to choose from so obviously I had to go over it and it's Pneumonia by Noelia Stevenson which again said wrong. 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed this. It's got colours. Really like colours. Pretty. Makes me happy. It wasn't at all what I was expecting. It follows a supervillain and his sidekick who is a shapeshifter. It's really interesting and funny and adorable and at times really sad too. However, for the most part, an overall really funny read and I would highly recommend it. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Four out of five stars. Are we shocked people? No, we're not. I really, really, really enjoyed this one. It's about a boy named Connor who keeps having these nightmares and then one day a monster appears to him and he says to Connor that he wants the truth from him. This monster keeps coming back and bugging Connor and Connor, in the midst of dealing with this Mozart, is also dealing with his mum and her treatment that she's going through and his grandmother that he just doesn't get along with and a lot's going on. This book is heartbreakingly sad and beautiful and I laughed and I cried and I sobbed 
and I smiled all throughout this book. It was fantastic. I highly recommend it. Review also will be coming out soon. A reread for me, you get to see a spoiler of how I'm going for the Slay That Series readathon. Finished the summer series, which includes Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer, all by Jenny Han. I had them in this obvious version. Such a good series. I love this series so much. It's just as good as the second time around, maybe even slightly better. This series is also really quick and fast paced for me to read. It's just an addicting, I love it so much kind of read. It's definitely one of my favourites. And even though I just finished it, I want to read it again. It's that type of series. It's really good. I would highly recommend it if you haven't read it. I don't know what you're doing with your life if you like contemporary romance things. This is just amazing. It's basically about this girl named Belly who always every summer goes to the summer house with another family and she's always had this crush on Conrad. However, the year that Conrad notices her, his brother Jeremiah also notices her too. And Belly has to choose which one and she's gonna break one of their hearts and she has to choose which one to do that to. And just stuff goes down, there's drama, there's romance and it's just a feel good, for the most part, fantastic, adorable, lovey-dovey thing and it's just... <sighs> I, I don't like love triangles. However, I love this one. It's just, it's so good. Go read it. It's, it's fantastic. So yeah, this is my September wrap up. Obviously, I'm missing a couple of books, but again, I do know that I didn't read too much. However, I think what I read was still pretty good. Let me know in the comments below what your favourite read of the month was. Mine was obviously the Summer Series, which is a reread. But other than that, I really enjoyed all these other ones. So it would probably be between Mouse and Pneumonia. I'm really loving graphic novels recently. So if you know any that I should read, you should let me know in the comments below because I really want to read some and like this video if you liked it subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos me and I'll see you next time okay bye